I'm Greg Zanis, inventor of DreamCar123.com, and I'd like to explain how the pyramid takes the light from the center channel and sends it in two types of different directions. One direction would be when the pyramid is here on the Earth, you can see that the light is aiming upward and out. Then it goes into the belly of the pyramid, lighting up the entire belly. But when it leaves the outer space pyramids, it's no longer aiming up, but it's aiming back down to the other pyramid. So I'd like to show you the new light box doors over here. And I'd like to show you the new light box. Now, this is the completed light box, and what I've done is I've put two different doors on here. So when you open this door, you can see what it's doing. It's reflecting the light up to the ceiling, and or at any angle that I want it to. And what it's able to do is hit any of the flying pyramids that are up and or in outer space. Now, here's just the opposite. When the pyramid is in outer space and it has to back down to Earth, it simply takes and reflects it back and or to the mega beam, which is four pyramids flying in outer space. This is how you'll be able to hit those pyramid buildings. And I'd like to show you again how the actual light box works. The light's coming through the light box all the way from the beginning, which would be the center of the building, and coming back out again all the way down to the other side. And then I'm going to shut it up again so you try to understand what it, we're trying to say. There's 10 layers of glass on the outside of every pyramid, this totally seals us inside of the building. I'd like to close it once more here. And I'm going to show you once again the same thing. Now it's aiming, it's lighting to the ground. And then this one here is aiming it to outer space and catching the pyramids that are flying around. So the pyramid could be at a far angle out here when it's hitting the ceiling up here, or it could be almost directly above the pyramid building and hitting it up here. And I'm Greg Zanis. I'd like to show you one more time the painting over here and explain that to you one time again for clarity. When the pyramid is on the earth, the lower light box panel opens up and shoots it straight over here. Now, if the pyramid was straight above, right here, we would do the same thing. We'd be able to beam it right up to here. If it was on the other side of you, it would be this side and this way. Now, when the pyramid is in outer space, I open the top door. And which, because of the shape of the pyramid, you're able to catch the pyramids all the way around in a mega beam by simply opening up the doors. And I'm Greg Zanis trying to show you how simple this is to, to show light. You can go anywhere you want to put it. This is not a laser beam. It's pure sunlight. And what we're going to do is we're going to take eight pyramids in this painting and make all the light into one light beam that goes all the way around our planet. And once it's dark on this side of the Earth, we'll be able to beam light right back down to our pyramids. There'll be no need for light bulbs. It'll be lighting up the building when it's totally dark. And also, none of the light goes to waste. It'll shoot back out again. It'll get part, it'll be retrapped into the mega beam. And it'll also be able to light two or three or all of the pyramids on the dark side of the Earth or any given planet. And I'm Greg Zanis. You can also see all of these photos on our webpage. 
I'm inventor of DreamCar123.com, and I'm so happy to show you all the up-and-coming inventions. Thank you very much.